welcome to a new episode of React Native Weekly. This is a show whereby I talk about the latest developments, interesting things which happened in React Native, any interesting tweets or news. So if you're looking forward to anything like that, please subscribe to this channel. I've also linked as well a link to my newsletter if you want to get this through your mail and enjoy. This is for the week ending on the 11th of June, 2023. So we set off with the big announcements or the big announcement by Apple, which was the Vision Pro. So we know that Apple announced the Vision Pro earlier this week and it looks cool, bit funky, bit silly. So many people liked it or at least liked the announcement and we know this device is going to be released for wider adoption next year. So for this period it's only out so that developers can start doing or creating apps for it which goes back to the episode here which which we are talking about like since this is react like what does this have to do with react so we found out like one of the first apps which will be released with the new vision pro will be portal which is actually an app created with react native so it's pretty cool to say that react native is already earmarked for this device and it just still talks to the power of react native so this is pretty cool the app itself is called portal so it allows you to feel different surroundings that you are like you can basically put yourself or immerse, immerse yourself in different uh, surroundings which is pretty cool so this app is coming to the vision pro and it's done or created with react native so this first came out uh, through evan bacon so going to the next story uh react native version update so we know that uh React Native is on version 0.71, so it's actually nearing 0.72, which is pretty pretty exciting. And we see that it's actually going rather faster nowadays. Um, so I can't wait for that official version one for React Native. So this is pretty cool, and this is just like some of the features that came with the 0.71. A release which was the TypeScript by default, FlexGap, and uh, probably other features as well. For example, uh, more integration with uh, the developer tools and Amy's as well, or the new architecture. So these, these are some of the cool features which came with 0.71. So yeah, so they released a. 0.71 patch it mainly was for android specific fixes so so that's out there so the next story i'm just going to talk about is uh react native wash os so basically this is more of like an experimental release on how you can create wash os apps with react native so it's pretty cool. Uh, it actually came uh, via Evan Bacon's, and it's mainly like just mainly just playing around with React Native to to target the watch, and this is done by using uh, the the config files, which is the extra config. So no, it's, it's pretty cool to see like an out of three device like this being targeted, which is uh, the watch or the watch OS. Pretty sick, pretty cool. 
going to the next story. So this is just like a, a, like a library which is done by uh, Novak. It's just mainly if if you find yourself being that person who's working with many out of three devices, which is like the Android, iOS, web, Windows, Mac OS. So this library just allows you to be able to simply just check if which platform are you using or, or is the app running on it's a pretty small library but it like actually does the work so it's pretty cool that he actually pushed it out so that everyone can see it's something which, which he was working on for a while so so that's coming from word tech so this is pretty cool so I just wanted to point out it's called the library I'm talking about is called uh, react native platforms so it allows you to pretty much check which platform the react native app is running on so by using uh, simple hooks so as yes, pretty cool I thought like library that I can put to and put here so that I can check out the other one I'm gonna talk about is also something which is an open source it was is a this is actually an open source library project by I think they call Twiggers so it's it's a a job board application for react native which has a node.js back end Basically, it targets almost all the code bases, all the platforms with one code base, which is like web, PWAs, iOS, Android, and it uses a single code base. So the so one of the things it features is push notifications, cross platform, responsive design. There's a Node.js back and uh, there's also partial server-side rendering, an admin page, animations, and a couple of things. So I had a look at the library itself or, or the projects. It's actually not bad, but then like it's actually good to see like all the like just check out the the code, but then it's. it's uh, there's a grain of salt some 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 of the some of some parts of the code were done by some by people who are not senior so there might be better ways of doing things but it's actually a really cool project to to check out and I've linked it in the in the notes and if you want like access to the notes you can just click on the description or you can just sign up to my newsletter which i'll also link in the description and then the final one is that uh chain react actually released the videos or a playlist of all the talks which happened at chain react uh this year we know that chain react happened uh, last month, so it's pretty cool that they released the the videos for all of us to to enjoy. So yeah, that's all for today, and um, enjoy your week further. Cheers.